Meanwhile, while briefing journalists on wildfire investments in California, Governor Gavin Newsom took time to react to Speaker Nancy Pelosi's decision to not pursue a future leadership role in the House of Representatives. You can calibrate someone's opposition publicly to someone by the real respect that person has to that individual. Uh, and, uh, and Nancy Pelosi's in, in, in a class of her own. Now, your question's a thoughtful and sober one. Uh, we have prepared for this. Yeah. All our positions, we have sell-by dates. And joining me virtually now here in Lagos for his perspectives on this development is a political analyst at Chike Trude. Good to have you join us. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. So Nancy Pelosi is stepping down um, in a time where Democrats have lost the control of the House by slim margin, but still have um, very, again, by slim margin, have control of the Senate. One of the things that she is respected for is the ability to get Democrats on the same page um, on, on particular legislations. What do you think that has stepping down from that role would mean for Democrats, especially now that government is split? Yeah, well, um, her stepping down, I think it's um, it's quite a big uh, uh, thing. Um, uh, it was expected. In fact, the questions were being asked, you know, before now, how long she was going to remain. Of course, age is a factor. It's not uh, exactly on her side. And uh, in 2020, after the elections, uh, some people, when they, they also won uh, the uh, both houses of Congress and then, uh, you know, House of Representatives, uh, a few people tried to make a play, the younger generation uh, tried to make a, plain, a play for the speakership of the House, but obviously she battered them down easily uh, because she was that powerful. She had amassed a lot of influence over the years, you know, and had a way of uh, whipping everybody uh, into line. Uh, you know, and so uh, it's, a, it's an era, really, it's a defining era that is um, uh, being opened up, a new set of uh, leadership, democratic leadership in the House. Uh, so uh, that way, a leadership that also has to find a way, uh, you know, to uh, do things to have its own identity. Because Nancy Pelosi was able to stamp her identity, really, uh, in not just in Congress, but in American elections, you know, in America generally. You know, and of course, you know that this is a period of the culture wars where, you know, both sides have taken, uh, have dug in in terms of uh, the cultural issues that are determining uh, a lot of things in the United States, and then, of course, at the level of uh, you know uh, economic issues also. Uh, so uh, it is going to be a tough ask to follow because when somebody has left such an indelible mark, you know, and made uh, such a serious mark uh, in uh, the in her endeavors and her engagement, it becomes very difficult for somebody uh, to fill in her shoes. And uh, so um, it, this is a new era for for the Democrats, especially. Uh, in the Congress, but it will need somebody that is equally as as uh, tough and as far sighted, who also has a way, uh, a lot of influence over the members to be able to have the loyalty of members, because that loyalty has to be earned. It's not something that is automatic. She earned her loyalty, you know, and was able to lead uh, the Democrats effectively. Mm. And her role is now up for play. But let me ask you about what this means for for President Biden. Um, not just that she's stepping down, but also that um, the fact that there is split government once again in Washington, D.C. Yes, obviously, I think Biden himself knows it. Uh, he said he would try and work with uh, both sides. Uh, he had also said, so people were asking him, are you going to do anything differently? He said no. And the reason why he said no was that um, the uh, Republicans did not get a, the exact term, um, you know, a victory that uh, they had, everybody had anticipated. In fact, there was talk about a red wave, which eventually did not happen. And uh, so they lost the Senate because even if uh, the, the runoff in Georgia, even if it is won by Hesher Walker against, uh, uh, you know, Warnock, uh, they are still going to have the casting vote, which is which reposes or is reposed in the Vice President Kamala Harris. So you, the Senate is still firmly under the control, though narrowly, narrowly under the control of uh, the Democrats. But where they're going to have issues is uh, with the uh, Republicans in the House. The House, did not, they did not make the kind of gain that they wanted, but what is important is that they have the majority. And with that majority, they could um, constitute uh, um, an obstacle uh, to Joe Biden's um, 
some of the policies that he would want to enact if they do not agree with it. Uh, obviously, it is dead, you know, on arrival. And uh, besides that, again, Biden is already having problems right now because immediately it was uh, known that they had won the majority in the House of Representatives. The Republicans there issued a notice that they were going to probe Hunter Biden. But that probe goes beyond Hunter Biden. Joe Biden is the target. There are allegations that uh, the son, uh, you know, corruptly uh, enriched himself and that Joe Biden was also involved in the mm. corruption. So right. it is, of course, going to be something that is of worry, uh, you know, to the to the president. And uh, and that might, in a way, uh, be an obstacle in his ability to move on with uh, some of the agenda he would want to have. Mm. Thank you so much for the, your analysis, political analyst at Chikichude. Thank you.